Xbox 360 on Steam Deck with emulation. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. So, yeah, let's talk about Xbox 360 on the Steam Deck through emulation. I've already installed the emulator and then um, put my ISO. So I'm just going to run the game Gears of War. Okay, uh, it's not optimized. There's something called patches for like this emulator. You need to like apply the patches game by game basis. Um, yeah, that's what I really want to talk about today. How to set that stuff up. All right, so I'll show you how to set up the emulator and, you know, customize your game, the settings. You can see here, you can see like it's not perfect. You can see how like the character is kind of like see-through. Yeah, it's like kind of glitchy. But uh, yeah, this is just We've got two the game. We can go back the way I like if you don't do anything, you just install the emulator, put the ISO in and run it. Yeah, this is what it's like. Your choice. Okay. Let's take the so let's... Blocks. I'm ready to kick some and you can see it's on 30 yeah, FPS yeah. on the top do left it. corner because um, yeah, this game was um, built 30 FPS when it came out. But there's a 60 FPS patch. All right, so let's go to desktop mode and I'll show you how it's all done. See you back there. Welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Emu Deck because I think it's much easier. Okay, so I assume you also know how to install Emu Deck. If you don't, to put it simple, just go to emudeck.com, click download, click on Steam OS, OK. And you should download a file called emudeck.desktop. Locate it. It should be inside your downloads folder. Double click on it. Click execute. Continue. And it's just like a Windows installer. So yeah, I won't demonstrate it here because it's going to take a long time to install. But uh, yeah, if you really do need help, I do have a video. I'll link it in the description. Okay, so once it's installed, open up emudeck. And I think it's been updated recently. So like the interface is a little bit different from what I'm used to, but I think we can get through it. Yeah, it looks a bit cleaner now because I used to be like the buttons everywhere. Like, yeah, but now they put it like all the buttons on the left hand side. So go to manage emulators and then we're going to go find Xenia. Xenia is the Xbox 360 emulator. I've already got it installed, so that's why here it says reinstall update. If you don't have it installed, it should be a install button. Click on it and yeah, just let it install. Once it's finished installing, click go back. Okay, and like when you installed Emu Deck, you should have an option to like install it onto your SD card or internal SSD. I prefer my um, emulation stuff on the SD card, so yeah, it's like go to your SD card and then emulation folder. Like if you installed emu deck onto the internal SSD, this emulation folder should be in your home directory. Okay, so it's a little bit different there. Okay, for me, SD card emulation, and then you go to ROMs, then you go to Xbox 360, and then inside Xbox 360, there's also a ROMs folder. Put all your ISOs, so, you know, your Xbox 360 games, you rip them yourself and then you convert it to an ISO format. You can just put it here. Okay. And then, yeah, that's basically it. Um, and then you want to like create, once you put your games in, uh, you want to create the Steam shortcut. So in Emu Deck, there's also an option for Steam ROM manager. You can open it here and you click yes and it closes your Steam because. Um, it needs to close Steam in order to create those shortcuts. Um, you can also, like, it also generates a um, shortcut here. So if you go to your application launcher or um, your start button, go to games, you should see a um, Steam ROM manager app image uh, shortcut here. So you can click here as well if you don't want to open MU deck every single time. Okay, so, okay, this is a little bit different too. But uh, should be all the same. Okay, so toggle passes. I think by default it should be all on. Uh, but I've got a lot of stuff. So if I toggle everything on, uh, it's going to jam my Steam library. Uh, so I don't like that. 
So I'm just going to select what I want for now. So I want the emulators and I want um, Microsoft Xbox 360. Okay, it has Microsoft Xbox, CMU. That's not the one I want. These are the Nintendo stuff. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have Xenia here. Okay, so don't worry if you don't have it here. You can also click here, um, create parser. Okay, you click here, create parser, and then here, community presets. If you just click on it, there is already some community presets. So Microsoft, okay, Microsoft Xbox 360 Senior. All right, and then, yeah, just scroll down, see what we need to do. Okay, this is red, so... We need to put the ROMs directory. So click browse, then go to my SD card, emulation, ROMs, um, Xbox 360, Xbox 360, and then ROMs. Yeah, this is my ROMs folder, so select folder, and then executable. Executable, so browse, okay, just go to your SD card, if you put on SD card, emulation, all right, you, basically you need to locate your emulation folder. Um, okay, and then tools, emulation tools, and then launches, and then locate senior.sh. Yeah, here it is. Select file. And I think that's all we need to do. That's all we need. And then click save. Make sure you click save. Okay, and yeah, it's right here at the bottom. Then, once that's done, go click here, preview. Pass. Okay, we've got Xbox 360. So yeah, my games has created the shortcut. And make sure you click save to Steam, right? And then it has this doing batch thing. And when it's done, it should, yeah, doing batch. Okay, so when it's done, it will tell you. Does it? Does it tell you now? Maybe it doesn't. I remember back in the day it has like done. But maybe it doesn't have that anymore. Yeah, I think it doesn't have that anymore. Oh no, it does. Okay, done, adding, removing. Okay, so I just panicked. So you got to wait. you got to wait for it to have that done. All right, and then you can close it. Uh, I'm going to close MU deck. Okay. And like at the start of the video, you see like the game wasn't running too good. So go back to your emulation folder, ROMs, and then um, Xbox 360. You see there's a folder called patches. This is really important because uh, you notice that there wasn't much settings for the emulator, but like for the game, you need to add patches uh, to make it run better. So let's say Gears of War, I've got it here. There's two of them, Gears of War, and it says TU5. I think that's title update five. I think my game is just a basic game. So just, I'm gonna update this um, file. And to, yeah, here it is. So to toggle on the, the patches, you need to set, it's by default false. All right, so I just toggled it on. So by default, it's like this. You need to set it to true, right? So it's a little bit different. So here I'm going to enable 60 FPS and then black shadow fix or black shad uh, shading fix. And then disable motion blur, disable all post-processing. I think that fix uh, helps with the performance. And then 8x anisotropic filtering. It says um, the game does not natively support 16x filtering. Okay, so I set them all to true. All the patches. I think yeah, most of these patches are like helpful. So once the patch is done, we can go back to gaming mode and test out if the game performs better. So you're back in gaming mode. Welcome back to my Steam Deck gaming mode. Okay, let's boot up the game. Gears of War. Running on Senior, the Xbox 360 emulator on my Steam Deck Steam OS, okay. Um, let's see if it fixes any of those like issues that we had when we, like at the start of the video, you saw, because I didn't toggle on those patches. Like the patches were there, 
but uh, wasn't toggled on. Now, let's see. So you really need to like mess with those patches uh, game by game. You can see we had a long list of games, those patches. Yeah, you need to do that individually because there's not much settings on the Xenia emulator itself. So you just have to uh, do the settings for each game. Okay, so immediately we don't have that glitch where like the character, the main character is kind of like see-through. Graphics looks good. We've got two options. And like we're getting above 30 FPS, so we're not locked at 30 FPS anymore. Because I think the 60 FPS patch is on. But maybe we can't get a like solid 60 FPS stable on the Steam Deck. So if you're running this on the PC, maybe, yeah, maybe you could. So this game like does hold up. I remember the first time I played this game. I'm not a like Xbox fan. I don't really own many Xbox consoles. But um, back in the day, I remember, I still remember now that I was working for HP and I went on a business trip to Singapore. And during that event, during that event, um, I'm not sure why there was like two or three Xbox there for people to test out. And this was the game like they had Gears of War. And um, yeah, because I'm not really a shooters fan, like shooting games and like third party shooting, I think is was pretty new to me at least because I remember like the shooting game that I played back then or, or maybe before that younger uh, was Counter-Strike 1.6 on the PC and that was first person keyboard mouse so the experience like playing a third person shooter on a console and the graphics looks really nice and like the Xbox controller was was pretty decent like I felt good on the hand and yeah, it was pretty new experience for me it was a pretty new experience for me and yeah I kind of still remember that I was kind of young then, and yeah, you know, my colleagues that they 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 were pretty, they were older, and yeah, they don't play games. And I was like, during the business event, I was I was, you know, getting some time, and I also tested out the game. Yeah, but my colleagues were like, mm. <laughs> yeah, they they knew I like playing games. I was young. Yeah, good old times. So yeah, like game's pretty good um this game also has a pc port and um it runs on the steam deck i have a like actually i have a tutorial how to get the pc port of this game on the steam deck if you want that i'll leave i'll link it in the description and um yeah but this video is for how to install so i think i went through how to install the emulator on steam deck how to put your games how to you know do the patches so I think that's about it. If you have any questions or, you know, shoot them on the in the comments section. Let me know. And I hope you really like this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.